So not not even five days have passed since um, Inui has given such a great performance against Fulton. And in my opinion, I think at that point he was a number one pound for pound in the world. But let's just be honest, what, what Terence Crawford has just done against Spence was so incredible. And not only did he manage to um, overshadow Inui with um, his performance, um, but he did it on the biggest stage. Because let's just be honest about it, the Crawford versus Spence fight had a lot more media um, publicity than the Fulton versus Inui fight. Because the Fulton versus Inui fight, it was at a li lighter weight class. And for some reason, historically, the lighter weight classes get less shine than uh, um, higher weight classes. So I'm Unfortunately for Inui, for four days he was number one pound for pound on everyone's list. But at this point, after what Crawford has just done to uh, Spence, I think it's undeniable that um, uh, Crawford is is number one pound for pound the best fighter in the sport today. And it's kind of tragic for Inui because Inui um, decimated a very good fighter. But at this point, um, I think it's undeniable that um, uh, what what Crawford has just done against Spence is almost like a historical victory. Like it's one of them performances that's so good yet yeah, that. It's almost like on a, on a level of a Joe Calzaghe versus a Jeff Lacey type beatdown. Like it's such a beatdown that's on a, such a monumental stage against a top fighter who at the time was undefeated, who, who looked incredible before then. I mean, it's such a beatdown and it happened on the highest stage that um, I, I'll be honest with you. I, I don't know um, what Inui can do to overshadow this. And let's be real, he managed to, um, Crawford managed to accomplish something that Inui is planning to do in his next fight, which is um, Inui already became undisputed. If he wins his next fight against Tapayez, he's going to be two-time undisputed. But the thing is, Crawford's already beaten him to the punch because after he beat um, Errol Spence, now he's two-time undif um, undisputed. And not only that, he's undefeated as well. Um, so the, this is like um, I think it's unfortunate for Inui but to be fair uh, Inui is only like what he's only 30s and um, obviously uh, Crawford is like 35 so I think Crawford's uh, career is, he's probably going to go on for a couple more years but um, I, I don't see him going on for another decade or so like probably 5 more years maybe he'll go on um, but Inui, he's probably got a decade left in the sport, so he's got plenty of good fights to come. But it's just tragic. At one point, um, everybody was absolutely in awe of Inui's performance, but now that we've just seen what uh, Crawford just done to uh, Spence, uh, nobody's even talking about Inui anymore, and he's been overshadowed already. Um, in in a space of four days, um, he's been overshadowed by Crawford, who just looked incredible in there. So yeah, it's tragic, but um, I'm sure Inui's um got plenty more to come and so does um crawford so yeah that's just my opinion about this what's your opinion about it, this do you think what i'm saying is true or do you think um he, he hasn't been overshadowed it's just a uh, complete nonsense i'm speaking i feel like I, he has been overshadowed no one's even talking about um in, in newest perform in newest performance anymore everyone's just talking about um uh everyone's just talking about crawford and i don't really blame them to be honest man that performance against um against spence was so incredible on the highest stage and not only that he had more theatrics attached to it i mean you had eminem walking out Craw uh, crawford which is obviously got a massive reference to pop culture so with with that being said um obviously it's it's it's, it's unfair to inui but um i think inui's got plenty more to come so it's all good tell me what you think below do you think her uh, crawford's victory has it um overshadowed inui or do you think um, people are still um, acknowledging Inui's performance? Tell me what you think below and uh, like and subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more content coming your way. Peace.